Hi, my name is Chitra Ganesh. I am a visual artist based in Brooklyn, New York. This series is called Multiverse Dreaming. This is where the title of the show comes from in some form. They're almost like little fragments of dreams. I always drew. I was obsessed with drawing unicorns and rainbows and clouds for when I was in kindergarten. But I think behind everything is always actually the human touch. And it's that's also something that people really respond to. Even in this day and age of technology and everything that technology can do from 3D printing to AI generated visual imagery, people are still obsessed with painting. The first comic book I made, I printed on an inkjet printer and I made 150 copies and I brought it to comic book stores and I consigned it there and I gave it out to friends. I often feel like how each artist draws a line is almost like a fingerprint. That idea is really exciting for me still. The central figure in this work is inspired by a teenage protester who gained a national visibility during the protests against the murder of Freddie Gray in Baltimore. Her work speaks to so many different audiences. It's conversant. It's, you know, dreaming in multiverse. I always think multiverse as a way of conversing with many different audiences. It's very important for me that my work reaches a, a broad cross-section of audiences. I love getting videos sent of children watching my animations. Images that we see in childhood and the stories of childhood, they function as this really powerful collective memory bank that's imprinted deep within us. So you can see that there's a lot of visual iconography in my work. It's hard to know if the figure has ripped her heart out or found that her heart is ripped out. Behind you is a wonderful mural that I think just draws in our visitors. It brings you in like the universe, it, looking up at the sky and the stars. It's so exciting to see this mural. I love how this iridescent paint came out, it's so great. I wanted to figure out how to make a mural that was really immersive and that could hold the whole space and that could provide like a moment of pause um, and reflection for the audience. Something I really appreciate about art, especially handmade art or art with that kind of touch is that it invites us to slow down. Be with your thoughts and be with your responses. We really haven't had any time to sort of digest. Things just keep moving forward at a breakneck pace.